We went to Montana to cover a gravel event. While there, we were on the lookout for some bears and other wildlife. We didn't find any, but we did find something special. This is the new Pinarello F. This time, with no number designation behind the F, the new Pinarello F is 265 grams lighter than its predecessor, 12% stiffer, saves 1.3 watts over 40 kilometers an hour, and is 3.2% more aerodynamic. This is the bike where form meets function, as well as some really forward-thinking aerodynamic designs. It has a clean, tucked away cockpit that hides all of the cables and is optimized for either electronic, wireless, or mechanical shifting. This model comes specced with SRAM Red Axis E-Tap. It has a 4835 chainring in the front and a 1028 in the back, all wireless, very clean. Even the logos look well with the logos on the bike. In this disc brake version we caught up with, it comes with 160 millimeter rotors, both front and rear, which creates amazing stopping power. But for those purists out there, it does come in a rim brake version. The tire and rim combo are Pirelli 26 millimeter P0 tires, and the wheels are DT Swiss Arc 1400 die cut with DT240 hubs. These things move fast, but are not totally hard to handle in twisty conditions. The Zero is UCI compliant, meaning that it's legal in all events. It does come in at a feathery light 6.9 kilograms for the disc brake version, and that's for a size 53 frame. The frame is made of its T1100 1K Dream carbon material, according to Pinarello, and everything is made in Italy. One of the most striking things about this Pinarello F is A, it has a truncated airfoil shape, which looks almost organic on the frame itself. Also B, the logos just shine through once you see them up close. The fork is their F Onda fork, and it actually comes with a 1.5 steer tube, which allows you to choose from not a huge amount of sources for their cockpits, but luckily they have their own in-house brand called Most. The most bar and stem combo comes in 16 different sizes, so there should be a size for just about everybody. And everything else, including the saddle, the cage, and the bar tape are all made by their in-house brand most as well. The seat post is Pinarello's own proprietary seat post, which features an aerodynamic shape to save watts. It also features some Thai hardware to tighten down that saddle. The saddle itself is a most saddle. It is 145 millimeters and is carbon. It also features a carbon cutout as well as it's being popularized by most other saddle manufacturers. Bar tape on the cockpit itself. It is a three millimeter cushy bar tape made also by most with some finishing tape in there as well. It comes in as black, but you can always get that changed. Pinarello has always been on the forefront when it comes to aerodynamic design. Also, the bike comes in as many customizable combinations as you can get, also with different group sets. So if red's not your choice, you can still pick from Shimano or Campy. What do you think of this bike? There are many bikes like it, but this one is still not out. 
The demand is super high. We will see what this bike shortage does to it. Let us know in the comments if you would ride this bike. Until next time, stay Velo-worthy.